If you had to go from zero dollars to ten thousand dollars a month in just 21 days, how would you do it? What would you sell? I've helped thousands of businesses hit ten thousand dollars a month and in this video I'm going to walk you through how we helped Brian reach ten thousand dollars a month in recurring revenue and we only had 21 days to do it otherwise he would lose his entire business. Hey Mike, Brian here just wanted to let you know that we've hit twelve thousand dollars in recurring revenue and looks like that'll be fifteen thousand dollars by the end of the month. That's the kind of email we like to read. So let's talk through how we did it. I want to start with the email that Brian first sent me. Mike, my name is Brian. I'm a long time subscriber and I need some help. My agency is on the brink of going under and I'm worried that I'm going to have to let my team go. To be honest, I feel like things were easier when I had no other team members. Things were a lot more simple, but we just struggle month to month getting enough in to pay the bills, the team and myself, even though we're making sales and we are working with clients. I'm constantly hustling to find new customers to work with. If you can help in any way, please reply, Brian. Now, in order to help Brian, I've been a bit of a sneaky ninja and I've managed to get a hold of one of Brian's project proposals and I've noticed a glaring problem already. After digging into their proposal a little, I can see that their pricing is per project. Now, it's not a terrible price, it's around $10,000 but I think there's a lot of work included for what the client is paying. Plus, there's no mention of subscriptions or maintenance plans or anything recurring. And also, this proposal is almost like an ingredients list. It's just full of jargon. Now, I showed this proposal to my wife and she couldn't really tell me what the customer was buying. Based on what I've seen here, my first impressions are that Brian needs to do something about how he's selling his services and what he's delivering in those services. Services. Looks like I'm going to need to do a little bit more research in order to get to the root of this problem. All right, so I'm kind of scratching my head because Brian has outlined three core problems with the business. One, he's not making enough money to the point where he's worried he might even have to close down. Two, he's working crazy hard on projects with his team doing both the delivery and finding clients. And three, he's worried he's not making enough money to pay his staff going forward. But what's confusing is that Brian is making money. Last month, his revenue was $25,000. His average project price is around $10,000. Working with around three-ish clients a month on various projects, but his expenses are also high. They're almost around $25,000 a month. And here's the kicker though. They can't take on any more projects because every time they do, it just adds more work to their team who are already at capacity. So Brian picks up the slack working on projects, which further adds to his stress. No wonder he thought it was easier when it was just him. It's a bit of a catch-20 meaning Brian can't earn more money because his team are at capacity, but he can't afford to hire more people because he's not making enough profit. I spoke to a couple of Brian's previous customers to get their take on it, and this is what they told me. Brian is great and lots of creativity, but when we signed the proposal, we weren't 100% sure of what we were really getting. Brian has never reached out to us at the end of a project or since it was finished. And this one's really interesting. We've moved lots of our projects over to providers who provide monthly calls and ongoing service updates. Clearly, there is some feedback here that Brian either hasn't read or doesn't want to. It's also clear that Brian works with a mixture of industries and I don't think Brian needs a niche right now, at least that's not his biggest problem. But when I asked Brian what he thinks the main problem is, he told me improving financial management, refining marketing and sales and enhancing operational efficiency, which is frankly nonsense management speak for I haven't got a goddamn clue. So I asked him a different question. Long term, what do you want to do? And he said, I want to sell the business, but right now I'll settle for a stress free life and being able to work just four or five days a week. I want to know that myself and the business are providing for my family. The next thing I needed to do was to talk to Brian and his team and give him a bit of a reality check. So you need to stop with the management speak and the corporate wording. If we face facts, you don't really have any idea how to get yourself out of this situation, do you? 
This is when Brian told me about what they tried before by hiring a consultant to fix their project management methods and someone else to tighten their budget and their spending. You want to sell the business, which is a bit of a joke at this point because you don't have a business that someone would want to buy. The only reason you want to sell is because you're stressed. I have a feeling that if we made the business far less stressful, you'd be more likely to enjoy the work and you wouldn't want to sell. Does that sound fair? Brian was pretty taken aback by this point, which is understandable. And he explained that the stress was taking a toll on him, his team and his family. And if things didn't change fast, he'd choose to shut the business down and just go back to being a freelancer by himself. Okay, so all is not lost. You guys are acting like craftspeople. You're producing beautiful, high quality work. You're like furniture makers, but you're not being efficient with your time and output. Instead of creating bespoke custom work, we need an Ikea product that flies off the shelf, has a lower work threshold, and is more profitable and costs you almost nothing. Every solution you've had to working too hard is to work harder and we need to change that drastically. And so this is the plan that I presented to Brian. Brian needs to make $10,000 a month in recurring reliable income. If he doesn't hit that within 21 days, he'll be forced to fire his team, close down the business and even quit entirely and get a job. We need a low cost, high profit, recurring revenue product that's easy to sell and deliver. Easy. Brian's problem isn't that he needs better financial management or more clients. He doesn't need more projects. Right now, Brian is building expensive bespoke custom furniture for all his clients when what he needs is a low effort, high margin product that his team can deliver without him being involved. He needs Ikea furniture, not handmade from Four Eyes Studio or something. And here's how we're gonna do it. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna ask his current and his past clients these questions from this Google Doc to understand what problems they have, what those problems are costing them, and what they'd be willing to pay those problems. And if you wanna get a copy of this, there should be a link in the description down below. We also need to build a simple monthly recurring revenue product that solves those problems and launch it to those clients. Finally, we need to standardize the delivery so that his team can work with customers using a platform like High Level, where they can create templates and copy work across multiple clients. And of course, Brian was fully on board with this with no concerns, no internal limiting beliefs or no problems whatsoever. Yeah, right, he hated it. Hey Mike, I like the idea of creating a recurring revenue product, but I just don't think my clients will go for it. Also, won't they see that as greedy charging them every month for something they're not paying for now? Also, the team is worried that a retainer will add to their workload and frankly, we're not really sure what we deliver each and every month. It feels like our creativity is being squeezed into a mold that just doesn't suit our business. So I decided to call up a few of Brian's clients myself and ask them some of the questions from my Google Sheet. Hey, yeah, hi, how's it going? So what are some of the top headaches that seem to come up every month for, for your business? Okay. And have you had that on your to-do list for a long time? And where are you getting your advice from now? Does that happen every week? So do you think it would be useful if we knew those numbers? By the way, like I mentioned, if you want a copy of the exact questions that I asked Brian's clients to build a $10,000 recurring revenue income for Brian, you can head over to go.sellyourservice.co.uk forward slash questions and get access to the exact same Google Doc for free. So I interviewed a few of Brian's clients, some via phone, some via email, and I put all of their answers into a spreadsheet and the results were astounding. Inside that spreadsheet, two clear monthly recurring revenue products stood out. Even though Brian didn't have a niche or a specialist area, plus the way to solve those problems was so simple that it wouldn't add much work to the team. I'll share some of the feedback from Brian's clients in a second. 
You see, my goal is to transition Brian's entire business over to this model so he can either refuse project only work from now on or at least charge significantly higher prices for it. And even when I shared the results with Brian, he could see a clearer pathway to creating monthly recurring revenue. But that's when one of Brian's team members gave us some pretty bad news. One of Brian's team decided to leave just as we were ramping up to launch this new campaign and product. They were an account manager slash like project manager and they knew a lot about the clients and the company. Now this meant that any work we took on needed to be extra efficient and profitable and we'd need to get someone else trained up fast. So we launched using a super simple launch campaign. The feedback from clients was grouped into three core problems. They had tons of different software and platforms for managing all of their different web and digital activities, and it was causing a massive headache, plus it was costing them thousands a month in subscription fees. They didn't have a reliable source to turn to for marketing strategy. They often felt that they were trying to figure things out themselves and they'd love to get help and advice from someone that they trust. And third, they have a lot of plans for launching products and campaigns and doing marketing in general, but because they don't have one central person who runs all that stuff, things get lost in the weeds and they feel like they're missing out on sales. So the angle we took for a sales launch was threefold. One, save money by moving all your apps to one low cost app. And in this case, we would use high level. Two, join a weekly office hours call with Brian and his team to answer your questions and get advice on what to do next. And three, leave campaigns and launches to Brian and his team. Now, each one of Brian's clients sold products from between $500 up to $10,000. So a single lost sale could be worth a lot to them. And I asked Brian how he felt about providing all of that for a flat $2,000 a month fee. And he couldn't believe that it was that simple. I also added that he should probably charge a $5,000 onboarding fee that comes with an audit and a consulting call just to dig into some of the numbers and give them a bit of a cash boost at the start. Brian had a handful of clients that he sent this email to. Hey, we've got a brand new beta service we're launching to cut your costs down by hundreds of dollars a month and we'll bring you in new sales each month. Would you like to see how it works, brackets, and how much we might save you? And the results? We signed Brian up to High Level Pro where he could create a white label marketing platform all of his own for his clients. Now he pays a flat monthly fee but can have unlimited users paying him to access the white labeled version of the software. The best part is that even if they don't want all of the calls and the white glove campaign service, they can still use the software with their team and pay him as much as he wants. We settled on $497 for Brian's white labeled version of High Level, a $5,000 onboarding fee, and a $2,000 a month price for the campaign's calls, including access to High Level. Plus, any new users who came on board, we could train them and their team how to get the best from it. Now, what's really interesting about this is that most businesses end up needing help just because they see how little they know. By the end of the first day of the launch, Brian had a couple of calls booked and by the end of the week, he had closed two clients, both wanting the audit and onboarding, full $2,000 a month service with calls and access to the software. Within three weeks, Brian had closed five clients, bringing him $10,000 a month in recurring revenue. And the reason this system works so well is because of the weekly office hour calls. If something comes up that's out of scope, he can simply tell the client that they can deliver that for an extra fee. Now, Brian spends his time talking to clients and figuring out what's next for the business. Because of the profitability and because of his team only needing to create one campaign and copy it across multiple clients, they've been able to reduce their project work massively. It's also worth noting that at the time of recording, Brian is now at $15,000 a month recurring revenue and expects to surpass this with his next month's income. Now, since his revenue has become way more predictable and profitable, he's able to reduce his working hours and his team's working hours. Overall, everyone is less stressed 
but making more money. And of course, now that you've got an idea for the kind of product that you can sell, you'll need the actual campaign to be able to launch these kinds of services to your clients, which is why I've got this video here explaining how I made $20,000 as fast as I could relaunching an old product to customers.